sailors with Carrier Airborne Early Warning Squadron 125 return to Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni from their deployment aboard the USS Ronald Reagan. This was VAW 125's first deployment in support of Carrier Air Wing 5. The deployment provided protection and defense for the Indo-Asia Pacific region. Uh, while deployed, we integrated and trained with various uh, coalition partners as well as the rest of the Carrier Strike Group. The show presence operations that we did, uh, as well as the training conducted, uh, is crucial to maintaining a ready air wing, uh, as well as a, as a strike group, uh, in order to maintain stability in the region. The squadron deployed with E-2D Advanced Hawkeye Aircraft. The E-2 is the latest version of the E-2 Hawkeye series of aircraft in the U.S. Navy and comes with the most advanced airborne radar in the world. The mission of the E-2D is to be a communications platform as well as using our radar uh, to kind of be the eyes and ears of the fleet. Five E-2D aircraft with VAW-125 landed at MCAS Iwakuni in February and quickly set off on the deployment. Uh, during the deployment, there was a lot of, you know, a lot of emotions, uh, you know, leaving my wife and kids here uh, for a little time. Uh, being that it was my daughter's first deployment was very exciting and emotional for her. And then being able to see the boat when they came up to Yakuska, just watching, seeing their faces was, was, was great. There's a lot of emotions going on. Deployments like these provide a combat-ready force that protects and defends the collaborative maritime interests of its allies and partners in the Indo-Asia Pacific region. Reporting from Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni, Japan, I'm Marine Corporal Sarah Abrego.